Hey everyone, in today's Halloween tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet a spider. This one was actually requested from one of my other Halloween tutorials. I don't know your name, but I know your YouTube name is Big Painter. I hope I did you justice, but honestly, this was one of the hardest ones Halloween projects that I've made because of the spider's arms here. It just takes a lot of work. I'll try to insert a preview of what's going to happen, but what's going to happen, but what I actually did. So I did use pipe cleaners and then I wrap yarn around it and I insert it in the inside. So this project is a little bit I would say messier because you will have to use a hot glue gun and like do a couple trimmings here and there but this other than that it's kind of easy to create you know the base of the spider so when I was coming up with this I'll show you some ideas what I was going through but I wanted to do two bodies well not two bodies but like a head and a body at first but then I was like you know what that's going to be a little bit too hard for me so I decided to go for this instead so this is my practice piece and then this is what I tried out again one more time before I film a video and then this is the one I did for the video so let me show you my practice piece so this is the first one I came up with. Well, they're all the same, but this was the first one and I did do a mouth on this guy and I didn't like how it looked, so I didn't add it to the other ones, but this is how it looks. I feel like it looks really good in brown. So you will have to know how to do a magic circle. I do show you in this video, but it might be a little bit difficult. I don't show you the other method. You can do the chain two method, but this is a magic circle and the, this is what the bottom looks like. So with my first one, you can see that it was a little bit messy because of the stuffing that I, it came out when I did the decreases on the bottom. But um, you can cut that part off, but um, this is just the practice piece. So that's what this one looks like. For my second spider, I went with a black color yarn. I didn't show black or brown because it's a little bit difficult to see my stitches, so that's why I did go with the red yarn for my other one. But this guy right here, I did do some yellow eyes. I don't know the size of this eyes because it was just some random one I had in my kit, and um, I actually had only these two left, and then these I know are I think size 8, but this one's probably like a 14 or 16, and then you can see I did a little bit better on this guy. You can see there's some glue spots because I wasn't as neat and then here's what the bottom looks like again I wasn't as neat with this one but this was my second time when I practiced it so I'm saying this project is a little bit messier because of the hot glue gun and you have to work more carefully with it I did want to do like crochet legs but then I was like you know what that's too much work and honestly it would be too hard for me to make the crochet legs because look at how thin these are imagine having to do like um, a round of four or something and then continuing it up there I thought that would be too much or you could have done it another way but I just went with the pipe cleaner method so this is my second spider this red spider is the one that I'll be showing you in my tutorial and I want to mention that I did mess up in this video so I didn't push the legs all the way in well I pushed it in but it should have been up further because it turned out to be way too long and in this video I was saying like I already know where I want it but I definitely should have checked beforehand about bending the legs so when you're making this make sure you just push in the legs all the way up in the inside to make it the right size so what I ended up having to do was I had to trim off the bottom of the legs and then rewrap the yarn but I do show everything in this video in case you do mess up yourself you can always fix something and then this is what it looks like i know it's like one little body slash head thing but i think it looks kind of cute and honestly it's hard because of the leg portion but it's also easy because this right here is just single crochets throughout the whole way so this is what this guy looks like and i'll also insert some other clips of what this looks like um, outside because i think it'll be a better view but if you're interested in making one of these i'll let you know what you'll need in the next couple clips I'll be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook, a weight of 4 yarn, this is the Red Heart Super Saver yarn, a stitch marker and scissors, stuffing and a hot glue gun. I'll also be using two 12 millimeter safety eyes and two 10 millimeter safety eyes. You can go for bigger eyes if you want, but I do like the look of these two together. The last thing you need are some pipe cleaners. I have one full one right here. I did pre-make some of the spider's leg. So the pipe cleaner doesn't need to be the same color as your spider because we will be just wrapping the yarn around it. So whatever color pipe cleaner you have is fine. And then you just need your hot glue gun to stick on this yarn. For round one, we're going to create a magic circle. So let's take our yarn and I like to wrap it around three fingers to create this X. I also take my pinky just to hold this back of the yarn. And then I'll take my crochet hook, insert it inside the circle, and grab this yarn through. And then with my hand with where the crochet hook is, I'll just take the other part of the circle, so I can just grab it like this, yarn over, 
and the pull through. So there is our magic circle. We can tighten it up and take this yarn here. You have to crochet around this yarn and the circle. So we want to create six single crochets in the circle. So let's take our hook and go inside the circle. Pull this yarn through. We have two loops on the hook. Let's yarn over and pull through. So that was one single crochet. I need five more. So I'll show that again. We're going inside the circle, taking this yarn through. We have two loops. I yarn over and pull through two. So I'll just continue doing that until I have six single crochets in the circle. Once you have six single crochets, you can take this part of the magic circle and you pull it. This will tighten up the circle. So that is the end of round one. So I usually don't insert a stitch marker until I get to round three because I can keep count of my stitches. But if you feel like you're going to get confused, you can remove your hook and take your stitch marker and insert it into that last stitch we made. And that's the end of round one. So. For round two, like I mentioned earlier, we're just going to do an increase into every stitch and we're increasing with a single crochet. So this is my first stitch of the new round. I'm just going to go into that stitch, pull some yarn through. I have my two loops, I'm yarning over and pulling through two. So that's one single crochet. I need to do another one into the same stitch. So there's the same stitch going in and there's my increase. So that's two so far, going into the next stitch over doing another increase. So that was one single crochet. I'm going into that same stitch again for two. So that's four. So I'll just continue doing that until I get 12 stitches in total for round two. Remember, we're only doing increases right now. Once you make it to your stitch marker, you can just remove it and do your last increase into the last stitch. So this will be 11 and 12. So now I can just place my stitcher back in, stitch marker, did I say that right? Stitch marker back into the last stitch. And that's the end of round two. For round three, we're doing another increasing row. So let's start off with an increase into the first stitch. Remember, we're only working with single crochets. So let's do two single crochets into this first stitch here. There's my two loops, yarn over and pull through two. So I have to do that one more time into the same stitch. Now into my next stitch, I just want to do one single crochet. So here's my next stitch going in for one single crochet. And now I have to repeat th those two steps all the way through until I end up with 18 stitches in total. So I will show that one more time. So going into my next stitch, I have to do an increase. So that's one and two. Now to my next one, I'm doing one single crochet. And now I'll continue repeating that until I end up with 18 stitches in total for round three. For my last stitch of this round, I just want to take my stitch marker out and I'll be doing one single crochet. And that's going to be 18 stitches in total for round three. Take my stitch marker and place it back into that last stitch. For round four, we're going to start off the same way by doing another increase. So here is my first stitch. I just want to do two single crochets into that stitch. Now this time we want to single crochet into the next two stitches, which is these two guys here. So let's do one single crochet into that stitch. And then my next stitch over, I'll do one more single crochet. So we're going to repeat those three steps until we end up with 24 stitches in total for round four. So let's show that one more time. Let's go into this next stitch and we're doing an increase, which is one single crochet and two into that same one. And then we want to single crochet into the next two. So here's my first one. And then here is the next one. 
and now I'll repeat that until I end up with 24 stitches in total. So again, going in with an increase, then a single crochet into the next two. So that's the first one, that's the second one. Once you reach the end, you should have two stitches left where you'll do your two single crochets. So that's my first one. Remove my stitch marker to do my last one. And now I have 24 stitches in round four. Round five is our last increasing round, so let's start it off the same way with two single crochets into the first stitch. Remember, two single crochets is also called an increase, so let's go into that first stitch. There's our two loops, yarning over and pulling through two. Let's do that one more time into the same stitch. And this time we're going to do a single crochet into the next three stitches. So here's my first one going into my next stitch and now going into my third stitch for another single crochet. So you want to repeat those steps all the way through until you end up with 30 stitches in round five. So I'll show that one more time. We're going to start off with our increase. So that's one single crochet and two into the same one. Now I'll be doing three single crochets into the next three stitches here. So that was one. Here's two, and there's my third one. So I'll do those steps until I get 30 stitches for round five. Okay, so once you get to the end, you should have three stitches left where you can do your three single crochets. Also, I said this was the last increasing row, but we actually have one more, except the next two rows are just going to be single crochets. So let me finish this round up first, and I'll explain what I mean. Okay, so for rounds six and round seven, you're just doing single crochets. Also, if you see a little hole opening here, we can just pull on this yarn. And you can just tighten that right. So because round six and round seven is just going to be single crochets, it just means you'll still end up with 30 stitches in each of those rounds. And since they're only single crochets, I won't be showing that on camera. I will be back for round eight and then the rest of the way through. So let me just finish rounds six and round seven off camera and I'll be right back. Let's finish rounds six and round seven. You can see it's curling up a bit. What you wanna do is just push your project down because this is the outside of our project. And you'll know that because where this yarn is, of course, it's going to be on the inside. So now for round eight, we're going to do one more increasing round. So let's start it off with a increase into the first stitch. So let's do one single crochet and another one into that same stitch. Now we're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. So this is one, two, three, and four. So I'll be single crocheting into these four. So here's one, two, three, and four. And you can probably guess it, we're going to repeat those steps all the way through until we end up with 36 stitches in total for round eight. I'll show that one more time. So I'm going to start off with my increase here. That was one and two into the same stitch. Now I'm single crocheting into the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. So I will repeat that until I end up with 36 stitches in total for round eight. If you did that right, you should have four stitches left to do your last four single crochets. So let's do one, two, three, and then we'll remove our stitch marker. Oh, looks like I messed up right there, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. Okay, so, and my last stitch. That's the end of round eight. 
rounds 9 to round 11, which is 3 rows, we're just going to be doing single crochets. So we already know what a single crochet is. You just want to do that in each one of the stitches until you end up with 36 stitches in total for each of those rounds. So because it's a simple single crochet, you're going to end up with the same number of stitches in each round. Remember, round 9 to round 11 is just a single crochet. We're just creating the length of our spider. So I'll be back after I finish those 3 rounds. Here is what my spider is looking like after I finish rounds 9 to round 11. So for round 12, we're going to start on our decreases. So we're starting off with a decrease into the first two stitches. So you can see these two stitches here, I'll be working into that. So let's first take our crochet hook and go inside the first stitch and take some of this yarn through. We have two loops. Now you want to go into the next stitch over and do the same thing. So just insert your hook, take some yarn through. We have three loops yarn over and pull through all three so that's called a decrease next we want to single crochet into the next four stitches so here is my next four that i'll be single crocheting into so here is one two three and four so you want to repeat those steps until you end up with 30 stitches in total so i'll show that one more time we're going into these two stitches here for a decrease so let's go into the first stitch pulling yarn through go into the next stitch pull some yarn through we have three loops yarn over and pull through all three there's our decrease now we have to single crochet into the next four right here so here's one, two, three, and four. Now you want to repeat that until you end up with 30. So I'll do the rest off camera. I said off camera, but I think I'm just going to speed this up a bit because I can't have this video be like an hour long like the rest of my videos. So once you get to the end, you can do your last decrease, going to the next stitch, doing the same thing, yarn over, pull through all three, and then you should have four stitches left to do your last four single crochets. I'll remove my stitch marker, and this is the end of round 12, and I have 30 stitches in total for this round. So for round 13, we're just doing a single crochet. You just want to do that all the way through, which means you'll still end up with 30 stitches in total for round 13. I just finished my single crochet row, so now moving on to round 14, we're going to be decreasing again, but this time we're going into the back loop only. So you can see that our project is currently facing us, so that means this stitch right here is the front. To go into the back, you want to well i can show you from the top view so you can see i'm going to go straight into the stitch and then out to the back so i'm going to take this yarn and pull it through and i have to do the same thing for a decrease into the next stitch so here's my next stitch you can see this is the front front i'm going in through the middle out through the back and pulling some yarn through i have three loops i want to yarn over and pull through all three so that was a decrease into the back loop only. Now I want to single crochet into the next three stitches, still working into the back loop only. So here's the back loop. Going in, pulling yarn through. Yarn over and pull through two because that's a single crochet. I'll do that two more times. Again, going in through the middle, out through the back, pulling yarn through yarn over and pull through both so now you want to repeat that all the way through until you end up with 24 stitches in total so i'll show that again so working into the back loop only for a decrease into these two stitches here i'm going into the middle out through the back pulling this yarn through there's my two loops going into the back loop again so that means i'm going in through the middle out to the back three loops, yarn over and pull through all three, 
so that was a decrease. Now I have to do three single crochets into the back loop only. So these three right here. Again, in through the middle, out through the back, yarn over, pull through. Again, this is the front. That means I'm going into the middle here, out through the back. That's one, or that was two, and this is a third one. So now I'll repeat that all the way through until I get 24 stitches in total. So one more time, here is my two single crochets, I mean my two stitches that I'll do a decrease in. So going in, into the middle again, yarning over for a decrease. So now I'm going for my next three. And now I'll just repeat that until I get to my stitch marker. So I've made it close to the end, I just want to show it one more time. So I'm just going to do my decrease here. And then I have my last three stitches. So there's one, two, and removing my stitch marker for the last single crochet into the back loop only. And then I'll put my stitch marker back in, and that is the end of this round. Before we close this up, we do have to add in our safety eyes and our legs. So first what I want to do is put in my safety eyes and you can see my stitch marker is currently right here. So I like to put my safety eyes on the other side and honestly, I just find wherever I think they will look good. So kind of in the middle, I'm taking my big eyes first. So this one is the 12 millimeter. And then for the smaller one, I think I want it like right here. This is where I place it on my other spider, but I feel like you can add it like a little bit higher if you want. But I kind of like this look right here. So you can put it like right here or something and have it go upward, but I don't know, I think I like this more. So I'm just gonna keep it the same way I did with my other eyes. And then now I'm just going to close this up at the back. Wait, do I like this? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let me put this in. Now that I have my safety eyes attached, you know what? I honestly feel like I should have put it a little bit higher. <gasps> it's okay, I'm just gonna leave it like this and now we're going to add in my legs. So what we have to do is we're going to need the same color yarn. So what you wanna do is just take some of the yarn and make sure, let me show you how much I'm gonna take. Okay, so I'm gonna take about this much because we have to decrease still. So I just pulled out some yarn and then I'm going to cut this off so like right about here. I don't know how much this is, but if you want, you can go in from the inside to take this yarn and work with it for the legs. But um, I just cut mine off because I think this is this will be enough to decrease the rest of the spider because you can see that it's not that big of an opening left. So anyways, now we're going to work on the legs. So I will have to move the camera in a different direction because my outlet is on a different side. If you're nervous about cutting your yarn, just make sure that you cut off more than you'll think you'll need and you'll be fine. You can use that excess yarn to stuff it back into the spider, but because this decrease is so small, I don't think you should worry that much. Just cut off more than you think you need, or you can just go from the other end of your yarn and use that part for the legs. So now I'll show you how to create the legs. The first thing you need to do is just make sure your hot glue gun is plugged in so it can be ready. And then you want to take your pipe cleaner and I, just, I think all pipe cleaners are the same size. So what you want to do next if you do have the long one, I'm pretty sure it's all the same size. You want to then fold it in half and you'll cut off in the middle, cut it off in the middle. So now you do want eight legs. I have already pre-made these guys right here. So how many are these? This is six, yeah, six legs. So I have my two left. So what I'm going to do now is take my yarn and I'm going to wrap it around my pipe cleaner. So let me take my yarn. 
I have my red yarn here, but I wanted to mention that, as you can see, with this pipe cleaner, I didn't wrap the yarn all the way to the top because when I insert this into the spider, I end up cutting off some of this, well, this green part of the pipe cleaner because I don't need it to be that long. You can see my spider here. The legs are already pretty long, so you don't have to, you can determine how long you want your legs. So if you want it a little bit shorter, just make sure you don't wrap it all the way to the top so you can still cut it off. I mean, you can still cut it off if the yarn is on it, but it's easier if you don't wrap it around the pipe cleaner and just cut it off later. So now let's wrap our yarn. I'm just going to take my glue gun and I'm going to start off with the side here. It doesn't matter what side you use, but you just want to take your hot glue gun and Put it on the end first, then I'll just take my yarn and wrap it around. I start from the top to bottom. The bottom can be a little bit difficult, but you just have to be patient with it. And then you wrap it up back to the top. Okay, so the thicker you wrap this around the pipe cleaner, it'll make the spider a little bit sturdier for the legs because if you don't wrap it around enough, it might be a little bit wobbly. So I'm actually gonna move up now and I'll take some more hot glue. And I'm just going to repeat the same steps. So I'll just keep wrapping this around. And then I go back down and back up again because I want it to be a little bit thicker so it can be sturdy to keep up my spider. Once you get closer to the top, you don't want to wrap it around too much because you have to insert this portion into the spider and you want to make sure you can push it through the stitches. So I'm just going to wrap it now. To end this off, I'm just I just took some more glue and I put it right there and I'm just going to place my yarn on top. It doesn't matter if the glue shows through because this will be on the inside. And then you'll take your scissors, cut that off. So now you have to repeat this seven more times. It takes a long time. So I'll just finish my next one and then um, I'll be back to show you how to insert the legs. Once you have all of your legs completed, you want to now attach your legs. So what we're going to do first is take the legs and find out where we want it to be placed. So you can see this right here is the row where we did the decrease into the back loop only. And this part right here is where the front loop is. What I do is just take my legs and then put it into, so here's the eyes. I kind of go back a little bit, about three or four stitches. And I just place it into the stitch above that front loop only. And I just push it through. I don't bend the legs right now because I kind of already know where I want mine's place, but if you want to bend your legs to see how far it should go in, go ahead and do that. But I'm just going to leave it... I think there looks good. So now I'm going to take the rest of the legs and push it in just to see where I want it placed. We will be removing this once we glue it. So this is just to find the placement first. I'm going to insert it there. Okay, so this is where I like the legs, and I'm going to leave it here. So for yours right now, if you want to bend your legs, remember you can go ahead and bend it to see how it will look. But because I already know what it will look like, I'm just going to leave it right here. And now I'm going to remove these three, 
and I'm just going to remember where I had it placed. And honestly, you could kind of see it because it leaves kind of a big opening like that right there. So I'm going to remove three of them. And then now I'm going to glue this one down. I did remove those three because it's going to be easier on me. But now to glue this on, what we're going to do is just go from the inside and you can see where it's placed. I'm going to make sure this is laid down flat. And then... So I want it like this. Yes, okay, so I want it like this. Now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to put it behind the pipe cleaner. Just take some of that glue and then I'll push it down and I'll hold it down for a bit to make sure it's secure. It's dried down, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off the part I didn't glue down so just about here and then i'll remove this and here is one of the legs attached so i'll just bend it to show you i don't like to bend it because you still have to decrease and it gets in the way but obviously you can push it back out so there's one of the legs now i'm just going to bend it back and i'll attach the others i'll show you that one more time so I'm taking my next leg and I'm placing it into where I had it before. Pushing that in, make sure it matches up. And you can see some of the glue still shows, but honestly, that can look like the spider web. So I push it straight down. Make sure it's in the same placement as, as it is on the outside. So you can see how it's straight here. Once I push it on this side, it stays straight on the outside. So now I'm going to take my hot glue gun. I'm going to place it on the yarn part this time. And then I'll push it down. I'll hold that down for a bit until it dries. If it's dried, you can take your scissors, cut off some of the green or whatever color your pipe cleaner is. And then we'll just repeat that until we have all of our legs attached. Now this part gets kind of messy because of this yarn as well, but you just have to be patient and take it kind of slow. So now I'll attach the rest of my legs. one side done, so now I'll just do the next side. Have our legs attached. You want to have it straight out because it's going to be easier for us to decrease. So for our next decreasing row, we're going to do a normal decrease, which means we're not going into the back loop or anything. We're just going through the entire stitch. Now I accidentally cut off a stitch, which is why I insert that disclaimer. Hopefully I put it in, but um, I'm not going to show you in the first one because as you can see, it's kind of messed up because I cut it off and I had to glue it on on the inside. So I'm just going to do the first two without explaining it because again, you can't really tell what's going on. So let me finish this part off camera because I have to figure out what I'm going to do here. Okay, so hopefully you didn't have an issue like me where you cut off a stitch on accident. So let's just pretend that this is my beginning row. What you're going to do first is start off with a decrease. So go into the first stitch, insert your hook and pull it through. And then you want to go into the stitch after that and do the same thing. And you have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Again, this will be a little bit difficult because of all the legs in the way now, but after you do your decrease, now you want to single crochet into the next two stitches, which is these two here. So let's do one and two. So now you're, you will repeat that all the way through until you end up with 24 stitches in total. Oh no, not 20. Um, You'll end up with 18 stitches in total. So I'll do that one more time. So let's do a decrease again. So we're going into this stitch here. 
going into the next stitch over we have three loops yarn over and pull through all three single crochet into the next two stitches which is these two here so that's one and then two so remember repeat this until you get 18 stitches in total for this round this is round 15. So that was my decrease, and then I'm doing two single crochets. That's one and two. So I'll repeat the rest of this off camera until I get 18 stitches in total. So before we close this up too much, let's take some of our stuffing and put it inside. I don't stuff this up too much because if it's too heavy, the legs won't hold it up. So just stuff it up until it's enough to make it look a little bit full. We have two decreasing rows left. So let's start off row 16 with our decrease. This is a normal decrease, so let's go into the first stitch. We pulled some yarn through. We have two loops. You want to go into the next stitch. Pull some yarn through. There's our three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three so now you want to single crochet into the next stitch so this one here that's one single crochet so you have to repeat those two steps all the way through until you end up with 12 stitches in total for round 16. so let's do that one more time we're going into this stitch for a decrease this next one yarn over pull through all three and then into the next stitch, you'll just do one single crochet. And I'll repeat that one more time. So we're going into these two stitches right here for a decrease. Let me take that back out because I accidentally grabbed some of the stuffing. Okay, so let me do that again. Going into the next stitch over. Three loops, yarn over and pull through all three. And then a single crochet into the next stitch. So I'm repeating this until I get 12 stitches in total for round 16. So now I'm reaching the end. I'm just going to remove my stitch marker and I'll do one single crochet. And then for round 17, which is our last decreasing row, I'm just going to decrease the entire way through. I usually do only five decreases. You can do six if you want, but I'm just going to do five and show you what it looks like. So let me do one going in for another decrease that's two and then three okay you don't have to be as messy as me you can see i'm kind of pulling out some of the stuffing on the inside oh just gets so like tight in the middle so that was three let me do one more four well, actually i meant two more okay and then five so usually you would do six so you can end up with six stitches left but um what i like to do you can see that there's an opening still there i just take my yarn and pull it through I'm actually going to cut it up just a little bit because this yarn is too long. So let me just take my scissors really quick. So you can see I have all this yarn. I don't need that much. I'm just going to keep about this much here. So let me cut this part off. And then what I'm going to do... Also, you can take this yarn to stuff it in if you want. I don't think I will. Yeah, I'm going to stuff mine in. So let me just stuff this in really quick. Okay, so you can see I stuffed the red yarn in, and now with this part where I left some of this excess piece, how I close it up is I'll take my hook, and I'm going into the stitch right after where I cut it off. So I'm going into this stitch here. I'm going to pull this out later, but um, let me just take my yarn and pull it straight through. And then you want to continue doing that. So here's the next stitch, taking my hook, inserting it in. Taking this yarn and pulling it through. I'm going to do that into the next stitch over. 
Again, just take your hook, go into the stitch. This is a stitch where the circle is. Take this yarn, pull it through. And I do that until I reach the back of where I started, which is this guy here. And you can also test it out. So I can show you how to test it out. So I'm going to pull it out now. And then I'll just tighten this by closing it. And it should close up the circle. Have to go into a couple more stitches. Okay, so you can see it's closing up. So the way you can secure it is now you can take your hook and go into another stitch. So I'm just going into the one right close to it. Right close to it. Oh my god, what am I saying? Okay, so just take your yarn and pull it through and make sure you don't pull all the way through. You still have enough to insert this part into the circle. And close it up. And then I want to go on this side just to make sure my circle is a little bit more closed. I can find my stitch. Taking this yarn, pulling it through, and that's closing it even more. I'm not going to tie that one up. I want to close this up one more time. So I'm going into another stitch on the other side, taking the yarn, pulling it through. And for this one, I'll just pull it again. And then finally, I'm taking my stitch marker, I mean my hook. You can always tell when the video is done, like I'm losing my mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so um, now I'm just taking this yarn and putting it through the loop. That's one way to secure it. You can do that a couple more times, but now I'm just going to take my yarn and the back of my hook to insert the rest of the yarn back inside the spider. what the bottom looks like and now we can just bend the legs find out which part you want to bend it at make sure it's kind of even okay guys so i felt like i made the legs like way too big i don't know what i was thinking i think i didn't push it in far enough um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim off the bottom and then i'm going to rewrap the yarn so if you did what i did and you made it way too long let's test this out by cutting it off well i'm gonna test it out by cutting off some of the bottom and then i'll rewrap the yarn and let's see what it looks like i mean i think it kind of looks fine but he looks a little bit weird like this is a daddy long leg, I guess, but let's see what it looks like once I cut it off. Just to show you the comparison, like he can't even stand up, his legs are so long and thin. These are what the other guys look like. I think those look kind of cuter. And this guy, he can't hang. So you know what, I'm going to trim off the legs and let's see what it looks like. I'm so scared I'm going to mess this up, but I think I didn't realize like I left the legs on too long because when I look through, so when I'm making this, I make it from the view from my camera. So I can't, I guess I didn't really notice since I'm not fully looking at the spider. That's what I just said. But anyways, so let me cut off one of the legs. Let's see if I can even cut it off. Okay, and then I'm just going to rewrap this. I'm sorry, this video is not that great, but I'm trying my best. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing to the other side. So now I'm just going to fix the ends and re-glue. I don't think this glue is ready. Oh wait, no it is. Okay. Let me re-glue this back on.
Okay, so I showed you one leg that I fixed. I'm just going to repeat that to all of them. So you can see these messed up ones here. I'm just going to glue some more yarn down and I'll show you what it looks like once I fix it up. Okay guys, so I fixed my spider's leg and this is what it looks like now. I feel like it looks a little bit better. I think I would prefer this in black. I think just with red, it kind of looks weird to me. But let me bring in all of my other spiders. Okay, so the gang's all here now, and I think my favorite one is this black one because I like the eyes on it. And then this was my first one that I ever made, and that was the practice one I did. So here are all three of the spiders. So hopefully you guys like this video. I know it was a little bit of a mess because I messed up on this guy, but I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you in my next video, which I hope will be another Halloween tutorial.